Hi, I'm Michelle Ruiz. Some of you know that one of my mantras is choose happiness. And with that, I mean make decisions in your life that are supporting your value or your objective to be happy. So therefore, choose happiness. So that often requires making changes in what you do, uh, how you act, the, the things that you get involved in, how you interact with other people in order to choose happiness. So I thought I'd share a little bit with you about some of the things that I do differently that I've learned to do differently when I decided to focus on choosing happiness. And the first one is, is I meditate every day. Uh, and in particular, during my meditation period, one of the things I focus on first and foremost is what I'm grateful for, because often it's easy to lose sight of all the wonderful things in your life, the, the, the things that you should be grateful for and the people that you should be grateful for. So I make sure that I'm re I recognize and, and uh, acknowledge the, the, all the things that I'm grateful for each and every day. And then I focus on what do I want to achieve in my business, in, as, uh, in my role as a mom, and also in my personal life. So those are the kinds of things I focus on. The second thing is, is I stay mindful of the thoughts in my head. And this is really important. It's so easy when something upsetting happens or you know, something is, is uh, bothering us that we, we, we think and think and think about uh, what's upsetting us or what happened and how it played out and all those kinds of things. And I try very hard to do what I call a mind shift. And when I catch myself in these cycles of thinking about something that went wrong or something that's upsetting, I try to shift my mind and focus on what I want instead of what's happened. And that's a really key thing. And you've probably heard this referred to in a number of different ways. For example, um, you may have heard one very uh, well-known a quote from Wayne Dyer, which is change your thoughts, change your life. Um, so it's important to be mindful of the thoughts in your head. The other thing is, is I trust my intuition. We have intuition for a reason. And uh, often we want to kind of push our intuition off to the side. Our intuition is telling us something, but we don't want to pay attention. And so I have become much more aware of what my intuition is telling me. And by that, I mean, if I sense that something's not quite right, I focus on it. And if something is not feeling right, I may start asking more questions or I may take a little bit of time to think about it a little bit. Sometimes for me, it often comes up in my sleep. I'll go to sleep thinking about it. And then when I wake up, I, I have this, you know, epiphany of something. So the key thing is to trust your intuition. I find that my intuition never leads me wrong. The other thing is, is I speak my truth. I ask for what I need. I set my boundaries and I let people know if um, if they are, have acted in such a way that um, are violating what my so-called boundaries, my personal boundaries, the values that I have. And I come from a place of letting them know, I try to anyhow, of letting them know how I feel uh, with respect to that. And then I make decisions about whether or not people or certain situations should continue. The other thing is, is, and this one I learned from Don Miguel Ruiz, no relation, but in his book called The Four Agreements, which if you have not read it, I highly, highly recommend it. It's one of those, uh, you know, uh, books that everyone should read. And one of the agreements is don't make assumptions because making assumptions can lead to, uh, uh, drama, sadness, unhappiness, all kinds of negative things. And so uh, what that really means is if, if you're not clear on something, ask questions, ask for clarity. Uh, you, um, I noticed this, ask questions. Uh, I just want to make sure you mean this, or can you tell me more? In other words, as opposed to just assuming that because someone said or did something and making an assumption and probably making a wrong assumption, which all of us tend to do, it happens, we're normal, we're people, is ask for clarity. And if you still don't have, if you're still confused, you don't have enough information, ask more questions until the point you're very, very clear. And then you can move forward. You can make decisions. You can understand how to analyze a particular situation or frankly, just interpret a, a situation. So those are just some of the things I do. I try to do uh, when I focus on my mantra, which is to choose happiness.